Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay everybody, this is literally my seventh time refilming this intro because I literally live like five seconds to an airport and everybody's coming to Florida for the holidays or leaving. So there's literally planes going back and forth, back and forth. So I apologize if there's any noise in today's story time. But before you skip ahead to the story, please just wait a second. So I have an exciting announcement. I finally came out with my Snapchat show and there are story times that come out every week. And it would really mean a lot to me if you guys went and at least checked it out. The link is down below in the description. Like I said, it would mean so, so much to me. If you guys didn't see the video that I posted last week, the reason why I haven't posted since that video is because my team and I are trying to figure out why YouTube isn't really pushing my videos out like it was before. And we're pretty sure it's because maybe of the language or the story times, but we're trying to figure it out. So if you haven't watched that YouTube video, please go watch it. And that's why I haven't posted two times a week since then, because I don't want to be putting work into videos that you guys aren't going to see. But without further ado, I'm going to bring you guys up close. There we go. Okay, um, before I do my quick usual little rundown, if you guys follow me on TikTok and you realize that I am not posting TikTok story times, it is because TikTok is not showing my captions to anybody. Like I put the story time from anonymous caption. Nobody can see my captions except for myself. So I'm trying to figure that out as well. It's like a mix of things. This is why we can't have nice things. But anyways, let's get into my quick usual little rundown. For most of the video, I'll be looking in this direction because my mirror's over here and I would like to see what I'm doing. I do tell these story times in first person point of view, so if you don't like that, then you can leave. And these story times are sent in by anonymous people. Okay, so story time about how my teacher was stalking me. Yep, nothing surprises me anymore. So a little background information. I was 17 and a junior in high school and my junior year was anything but ordinary, as you can tell from the title. But like I said, I was in my junior year, I had a weird schedule that had me taking nine classes a semester and they called it block scheduling. So pretty much I was in every single one of these classes for like 110 minutes, literally 110 minutes. And I would have four classes a day. Um, Before any of this happened, I really did like my school. Okay, it was like a private school, but it wasn't technically a private school, but it was the closest thing you could get but without paying all the money. And a lot of the kids that went to my school, their parents had a lot of money and they would donate to the school. So we always had new computers, new uniforms, new sports equipment, new books, and a lot more. And the reason why a lot of kids didn't go to this school was mainly because it was a Catholic school. And a lot of the people in my town were Christian. But because everyone would donate this money, my school wanted to have like the best reputation that they could. So pretty much anything bad that would happen in my school, they would try to like pay off the parents or the students to kind of keep hush hush about things. And I know all of this information seems so random, but it'll make sense, I promise. And also because a lot of people would donate money, we had really good after school programs that would help kids. And I was considered like a legacy in my school because I was the third generation to go to my school out of my family. I mean, okay, not really like a third generation, but at the same time, it low key was because my older sister went there, so did my older brother and my parents as well and my parents had me 15 years after they had my sister and 12 years after they had my brother and I barely get to see them because now they have their own families and they only come around on the holidays so technically I'm like an only child but I have a solid group of friends that I hang out with and we're going to call them Alex, Mandy, and Leah. Um, My parents were older than a lot of people's parents. My dad is like 70 years old and my mom is around 62. So I really get to do whatever I want. And I'm pretty sure it's because my dad is too old to deal with the bullshit. So as long as I'm not disrespecting him or doing drugs or getting in trouble with the law, he could care less. Um, my mom on the other hand, she tries to be strict with me, but she has really high anxiety and she gets very stressed out very easily. So I just let her think that I'm doing everything that she wants me to do so that way 
I'm not the one to stress her out or make her feel like she's a bad mom because she's always told me that that was one of her fears was being a bad mom. And my house was pretty cool. There was this like little almost like apartment set up in the basement. There were three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a full kitchen. And obviously since all of my siblings moved out, I took over that space. One room I used as a closet and makeup space. The other room, obviously my bedroom. And then another room was for whenever boys slept over, which was very normal to be honest, because my house was the hangout spot since I had a space where nobody could really bother us. And my parents knew that I had boys spend the night, but they never knew when because there was a door in the basement that led to the driveway. So I would just sneak them through there even though I really didn't have to. My friend Leah pretty much lived with me because we lived 15 minutes away from each other and and most of the time she would spend literally five out of seven days of the week at my house because her mom hated driving her anywhere and I hated driving all the way to her house. So they came up with a compromise. As long as she was getting her schoolwork done and she had to be drug tested every week, if she came up clean, then she was fine. Uh, Leah and her mom lived with her grandmother and her mom was super young, probably about 14 whenever she had her. So I would never tell Leah this, but I'm pretty sure that the reason why her mom doesn't give a fuck. And to be honest, she likes whenever Leah spends almost the whole week at my house is because when she's at my house, her mom doesn't have any responsibilities so she can just go out and party. Leah was super book smart. So I would have her help me with pretty much all of my classes because I was taking a lot of college classes and they were super annoying. But I would say the most annoying thing about my one class was that I had this really creepy teacher for one of my classes. Um, he just made me feel like really uncomfortable and he made a lot of the other girls feel like that as well. A lot of them have even said that they would catch him staring at them in a weird way or the one time apparently he looked up some girl's skirt and when her parents got involved, it was all brushed over because he swore up and down that he didn't do it. And not only that, but this girl had a history about lying about stupid shit. And I didn't want to believe that because I don't want to think that my teacher could be a weirdo, pervert, stalker, no. And I tried to tell myself that it was just his personality at first that made him really weird because there would be times where he definitely creeped me out. Well, then the one day he says something really weird along the lines of, oh, you would have really good looking children. And then he goes, whenever you're older, of course, ha ha ha, like laughing it off like that makes what he said any better. Like it does not. Um, there were just like a lot of other weird things besides that that would happen. Like for example, um, we didn't have assigned seats in this class. So there was this one guy who sat next to me the one day and I actually did like this guy. So him and I, we were talking, you know, and then all of a sudden my teacher starts screaming at me and he's like, you guys are being so loud. Can't you see that other people around you are trying to work? Take your stuff and come back here and sit at this desk that's next to mine. And he had like this desk that was ne next to his for any of the bad kids, you know? So I had to go and sit in that desk, but it was literally any time that I was talking to boys. And my thing is everybody in the class was talking too, so it wasn't like I was screaming or laughing, you know, or anything. So I found that extremely weird, but I didn't want to think too much into it, but it definitely pissed me off and I was embarrassed because I was getting yelled at like every single fucking day. So my big sister and I, we had a good relationship and the one night she calls me to see how I'm doing and I tell her about everything that's been going on, about how, you know, this teacher's super weird. He won't leave me alone. I get yelled at for everything thing and she's like oh my god is your teacher's name frank and i'm like yeah and she's like oh my gosh i remember him he was such a creep he did the same shit whenever i was in class but it was way worse she said that very often in his class he would like find ways to like be close to her. Like, I don't know if he would hold the door open for everybody whenever everyone was walking in the class. And then, you know, he would kind of put his hand on like her lower back, you know, after she would enter the class and then he would go in after her. It was like really fucking weird. And I guess she had told my parents about him a few times and they were like, okay, well, if anything happens again, let us know and we'll go to the school about it. Because they just thought like, oh, you know, maybe she was overreacting, which isn't like my parents, you know? But I I think because it was like back then they really didn't think the teachers were like that but of course it happened again it happened actually multiple times um she said that she felt like he was always following her around school and then the one day after class he asked her to stay behind because she got a bad grade on one of her tests and also she was skipping 
her classes because she didn't want to be in that class with him. She felt uncomfortable. So she would just hide in the bathroom until her next period. Eventually, my parents asked if she could switch classes and they said that that wasn't like a good enough reason for her to switch classes. And especially if she didn't want to have to take the class again, she would just have to tough it out. Well, then I guess the one day he had asked her to stay after class. And of course she did because even though he was a creep, like she still was not trying to be labeled as a bad kid in school. But I guess he really set her off this time because he was like, well, you better start coming to class. I don't wanna have to give you an F. I miss seeing your pretty face. And then I guess he said something really inappropriate after that and kind of like was getting close enough to her to where she had, was like standing against one of the desks and she went to run over to the door to leave and he stood there and blocked the door. And then he literally made her skip lunch and sit there and go over everything that she was missing in class. Even though she would literally get all the work from one of her friends and she would do it at home and she would still turn it in. Um, and then I guess that he put his hand on her thigh and she ran out. She left. She was like done with it. Mm -mm. So she went to her guidance counselor and she told her guidance counselor. She also told the principal and they launched a whole investigation, investigation into the situation. And he was suspended for a year. My parents thought that he was suspended. Like he got his teaching license taken away or whatever. However the fuck that works. Because my sister literally graduated a few months later. But I guess whenever they did the investigation, like they, like they found out that she was locked in that classroom with him. And she was in there for so long. She didn't even make it to her class that was after lunch. Well, now it's 15 years later. Well, my sister obviously told me that she was concerned for me and that she wanted me to not trust him, see if I could switch a different class, especially because since it was still early on in the semester, they would most likely let me switch. And then she also just told me to tell my parents so they could deal with it. But the issue was, is like, I didn't want to bombard my parents with this shit because like I said, they're older. Like they do not want to be dealing with this bullshit. But I told them anyways. So I get off the phone with my sister and I went straight to my mom and told her what was going on. And my mom was fucking furious that he even still worked there. So she told me that I didn't have to go to school the next day, that she was gonna call the school and she was going, gonna go in and have a meeting with them. So she calls the school the next day and she did not get the answer that she was hoping for whenever she pretty much told them, you're gonna take my daughter out of that class or you're gonna fucking fire him. The school told her he was one of the most qualified teachers in the state for advanced anatomy and there wasn't enough evidence to prove that he was doing any of this stuff that I said that he was doing and they don't want him to sue the school for wrongful termination. So my mom asks if I can be removed from that class and they said if I wanted to be removed from that class, I would have to take it in the summertime, which was not fair at all. Not only would it be in the summertime, but also I would have to take it at a completely different school district, literally 45 minutes away every single day a week. And this was back before doing online school was popular, which, oh my God, my sister told me that like now, instead of having like snow days and stuff like that, kids still have to do online school. The fact that none of you will enjoy snow days as being completely free of school, I feel terrible for you guys. So obviously I'm sitting there while my mom is talking to them on the phone and I look at her and I'm like, I'm not doing that. So she was like, all right, she'll tough it out for the rest of the school year. And my mom wasn't super happy about me saying that I would just tough it out. So she told me that if one little thing happens, she wants to know about it. So of course I was like, yeah, okay, I'll tell you, blah, blah, blah. So obviously I told Leah, Alex and Mandy what happened. And I was like, you know, don't tell anybody though because it's supposed to be like a closed incident. You know nobody else is supposed to know every day at school was like miserable for me knowing that i had to go to class with this weirdo and then the one day you know i'm sitting at my desk and i'm doing my work and he's like i have a question do you know amanda and i was like and i was like i have a sister named amanda and then he finally put two and two together because his face like lit up like weird weird as fuck he was like gross and then he's like, wow, I can't believe I didn't see it until now. You guys look so much alike. When in reality, I really didn't look like her. Actually, everybody never thinks that we're sisters. They always think that like, she's my mom. But now I was like super annoyed because just like knowing how he treated my sister and now he probably thought that he could do the same shit to me. And then he was like, yeah, she was in my class. And then I was like, I know she told me that she didn't like you. And he goes, oh, what a shame. And like the whole class starts laughing when like, it's not a fucking joke. Like she actually didn't like you. You perv.
Then after class, he asked me if I could stay back. And immediately I was like, no, I have to go to my next class. I don't want to be late. And then he's like, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. And I was like, I don't want to be alone with you, you creep. And then I walk out. And everybody in the class heard me say that. So that's embarrassing for him but I didn't care. And I guess what I said really pissed him off because the next day he didn't say one word to me. He was throwing shit at me literally. Like he would go and pass something around and then he would go like this and it would just, the paper would like fly somewhere and I would have to get up and pick it up. It was just weird. So at that point, I assumed that he hated me and he would never talk to me again. And I was stoked. I was like, period, you know, I don't have to deal with his weird pedo vibes ever again. But that was not the case because Leah and I were walking to my car after school and who's standing at my car? Oh, that's right, Frank, the weirdo. Um, At first I literally like grabbed Leah's arm and I was like, we need to go back in school or something. Like, I don't wanna go to my car. We need to go tell somebody. And she was like, dude, we're on school property. What can we do? Like, let's just walk to the car, it's your car. And I was like, all right, sure, whatever. So I walk up to the car and he's literally leaning against the driver door and I'm like, can you please leave? Like, can you please get away from my car? And he's like, oh, what are you going to do? Try to get me fired like your sister did? And then he was like, I just want to make something very clear. He was like, your sister, she's a liar. Everything that she said was to get attention from your parents. So I would appreciate it if you don't spread lies around school. And if you continue to spread these lies around school, I will take legal action because I'm just trying to do my job. Sure. So I didn't even realize he literally parked his car right next to mine so he got in his car and he left as soon as i got home leah and i told my mom what happened and she called the school telling them what happened in the parking lot and even said that there was a witness and the school took his side again of course and they told my mom that he already filed a complaint about me spreading false accusations about him to the rest of the school and i told my mom that i didn't tell anybody except for my friends which clearly they can't keep their mouths shut because apparently everybody in school knew what was going on. And then they were like, well, and then they were like, well, we hate to do this, but now she's going to have to take the summer school class because that's the only way we know to put an end to this situation. How about you guys actually hire teachers that aren't fucking weirdos? That would help too, right? And clearly that did not put an end to the situation because sure he wasn't bothering me in class anymore, but he joined the after school study program. And, and the reason why I was in the after school study program was because I got kicked out of that class and I wanted to be prepared for the summer class so hopefully I could get through the class in half a semester. So whenever he joined, who do you think I was put with to study? Him, because he was the best teacher for that subject. So I started thinking to myself, there's no fucking way that I'm gonna start doing summer school and I'm gonna do this bullshit and still have to fucking deal with him. Cause like, what's the point of doing that if I still have to fucking deal with him? So I go home, I tell my mom, she calls the school, they pretty much tell her to fuck off again. And she's like, all right, but you're putting my daughter back in that class because if she still has to deal with him in these other programs, then she might as well fucking deal with him in the class and just get a over and done with. So she put me back in the class and of course I'm getting in trouble for the stupidest shit ever. Like for example, I would ask to go to the bathroom during class. Nope. Everybody else was allowed to except myself. He'd be like, you have to go to the bathroom before class starts. You're not gonna leave in the middle so you can go and do whatever you want with your friends. But then someone would ask after me and he'd be like, yeah, go grab the pass. Really? Oh, and the one time I came into school late and I had a note with me and I went to class and he started screaming at me at the top of his lungs. He was like, you can't just come to class whenever you want. Go sit down right now. He's like, this is ridiculous. And then I literally scream and I'm like, I have a fucking note. And he's like, get out of my class right now. Go, now, go to the principal's office. So yeah, fun, fun, fun. Um, I would drop my pencil on the floor and he would say that I'm purposely trying to make noise to disturb everyone so then I would get detention. And things were getting weirder than they were before because I got to a point where I realized that he was not only stalking me in school, but it was happening out of school also. I would see him literally everywhere that I went. I'm talking restaurants, when I would go to the movies. Even the one time I was driving to go and pick Leah up and I'm sitting in traffic and I realized that he's literally right behind me and he's staring at me in my rear view mirror. Oh, and the one kid that I told you about that I liked that was in his class that I was talking to and I got yelled at for talking to. Well, he asked me out on a date and we went to this one place where it was like kind of like an arcade slash they had like ax throwing and a bunch of other stuff. Well, 
know. There was a bar across from the restaurant area and he was literally sitting at the bar just staring at me. So I told my mom about it and this time instead of calling the school, she called the cops. And apparently he said that he lived in the area, so it was just a coincidence. So then the school called my mom the next day and they're like, yeah, no, she can either take the F or she can go to summer school, but she's not gonna be in his class anymore. We don't want her anywhere near him. Acting like I was the fucking issue. They said this has been going on for too long. They cannot have rumors being spread about the teachers that makes the school look bad, especially whenever we have no quote, concrete evidence. So at that point, I decided I'll do the summer school. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I do wasn't doing the after school study program anymore. I wasn't doing the class anymore, but somehow he was still popping up everywhere I fucking went, everywhere. But at this point, I kind of start to think that I'm going crazy um, because whenever nobody believes you, except for my parents, of course, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be like, well, Am I overreacting? Like, is this actually happening? But the one night I eventually got my confirmation whenever I went to a concert with Leah, Alex, and Mandy, and he was there. I mean, at first I was like, there's no fucking way that's him. Like, there's no way that that is him. And then bam, he ends up behind me. And I didn't even realize until I felt somebody grab my butt. And then I turn around, I start screaming at him. I pull my phone out, I'm recording him. So are a few other people. Thank God it wasn't just only my friends who saw it. There were literally a bunch of other people around who saw it too so i immediately found the cops i told them yeah that guy just did this i have a video everybody else saw it too he's my teacher he's been fucking stalking me well later after the show they went and they arrested him at his house well, fast forward the next day, he shows up to school and the police are waiting there to arrest him. And the news is there too. So my school earned its bad reputation as it should have. This time we have proof, we have videos, we have witnesses, everything. And he was fired. Um, They took him to jail, but he wasn't in there very long because he bailed out. But it was pretty much made clear to him that he was finally fucked. And the one night he exposed himself even worse because the one night my dad and I were sitting in the living room and we're watching TV. And then all of a sudden we hear my dog barking and we look outside and we see his car parked in our driveway. I guess he was coming to cover his tracks. And I feel so old, bad for my dad because my dad is too old to be dealing with this bullshit, but he was fucking ready. Like he ran out of that house and guess what he caught him doing? He literally was under my car trying to take a tracker off of my car. Yes, trying to take a tracker off of my car. Well, my dad's like an ex-military and he has a lot of guns and a lot of weapons. So he literally tased him so bad to the point where he literally shit himself. That's embarrassing. Ew. So he ended up going to jail for four years he's actually supposed to get out in a few months i don't know if my school will hire him back because they finally are just getting over that like bad reputation but who knows um oh yeah and my family sued the school for negligence and a few other things because apparently he was doing this to a bunch of other girls but i was the only one that he really took it that far with um moral of the story for everyone out there it is 2022 about to be 2023 this shit can and does happen if you have a gut feeling and you think something's wrong it probably is so don't be afraid to say something or call the police especially when it comes to your safety okay everybody that is the end of today's story time like i said earlier if you guys could please go and check out my snapchat show that just came out i would really appreciate it the link is down below in the description and if you're new here and you want to see more of my story times make sure to click that subscribe button and if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to send in your anonymous story time or you want to know how to send in your anonymous story time make sure to click the links down below in the description but other than that i will see you guys next time with a new story time